installed Sam and you did we want to check and see first right if Sam's even been installed so you can go Sam version and if it's not there it's not there if you have homebrew like I like I hope you do um, you just go brew install AWS Sam CLI straightforward on that and then we'll go check all the dependencies check all the things you wanted to check Kind of cool it will go and download everything for you and this is the reason why i really like homebrew it just makes your life a whole lot easier and we should be good to go once it gets that done no idea how long it's going to take but at least they give you some kind of feedback for this which is nice and then that's it we're all good uh what happened oh, i already have xcodes installed Huh, it didn't like it. Okay. Huh, all right, well, let's see if it actually took. Sam version. If I found, if I found okay. So, Xcode. Install, yes, I agree. And this is what happens when I get for updating all my stuff. So again, the good part, again, we're seeing some kind of errors here. We can work from this. We kind of get an idea. Um, if it's really going to be 77 hours, there we go. A couple minutes. That's much better. <laughs> um, yeah. There we go. So it's just going to download this. So if you do have that error, right, don't be afraid to follow the prompts and just go, hey, there you go. Um, I'm like more than happy to, to work on on errors because they really do make life a little bit more interesting. Um, I just need to learn to slow down at times and actually read what the prompts say. So this just said, hey, we need to make this work. And even though I've downloaded this all before, I know I've upgraded my operating system. So that may be part of the problem, not sure. But again, we if your system needs something new to be installed, then again, just make sure you're installing it. So it's kind of cool we're seeing errors. I always appreciate that just because then we can just work our through and it's going to install and not take very long. Hopefully it doesn't need to reboot. So we'll see what ends up happening. We wait for the software to install. Uh, yeah. Wait for it to do its thing. Oh, 12 minutes. It, hopefully it takes a lot less than that. Um, Interesting. I wonder about who does these time things. Okay, so we're definitely not going to, I'm not going to make you wait eight minutes for this. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll pause the video here and we'll pick back up when it's all done. Unless it decides it's going to like all of a sudden speed up for me. No, we'll pause this and come back when it's finished. Again, we're back here. So we have our software installed now, right? So we should be able to then just go um, brew install AWS SAM CLI again. We just want to kind of follow through and see what we got and go from there. Hopefully we won't air out. All right, we see all the things we saw before. And hopefully we won't blow out here. This is positive. Once it gets to here, once it gets to the CA certificates, that's a good sign. That means everything is doing what it needs to do. And we got the crypto dependencies working nicely. So I really like that. That's a good sign here. Right. Yep, we got all of our dependencies going. Okay, much better. And again, sometimes it just needs extra tools. At least it will tell you what those tools are. So I actually really appreciate that. Hi, boom, tap. All right, it's going installing the CLI now, running cleanup, perfect, that's what we want. All right, so we should be good to go once this is done. And any dependencies. Okay. 
Oh, it's actually downloading as dependencies in AWS CLI as well. So Python, package containers, Ruby. Yeah, so it's actually doing a lot of just stuff that it kind of needs to do. Kind of cool. Upgrading as, oh, upgrading OpenSSL. Wow, so this is almost like a full-on thing, right? Which is interesting because I didn't think I had that many dependencies going but also I've updated my operating system recently. So if you've operated and done these things, then you may see all this stuff that's going on now. So I'm actually really kind of happy that we're seeing this just because it opens up a lot of doors here. And you'll know that the AWS CLI worked really, really well while I was working with it before I did all this. So interesting, huh? And that's it. I had lots of Python on this one. Man, I use Python a lot, which is really interesting. It's upgrading all of Python for me, which is nice. Um, so I actually really kind of appreciate that. I really do use a lot of Python at PHP. So it's just kind of neat that you've got all this stuff being done at the same time. But it's also all interesting, the dependencies that happen with uh, Sam. Okay, we're getting a Ruby cleanup. And that's it. We should be good to go. Now I should be able to go SAM version. And I get my SAM CLI and we're good. So again, kind of a weird, kind of painful thing. I had to download a couple extra tools and stuff. I'm not surprised by this at all. Um, and no one should be surprised by this at all. It's just kind of a thing. But this is what happens. And if you do get the errors, don't be afraid of them. Go back through, download whatever dependencies it needs to have. Um, especially if you're working with Apple or Linux and you get your operating system rebuilt on a pretty regular basis or a Windows that has other things because we turn on and turn off dependencies all the time. Um, but that's essentially it. That's how you install SAM using Homebrew on your Apple or you can do this on your Linux box as well.